Hey guys, this is Julian of uh, Julian Gray Media, and this is going to be the final, I believe, episode of uh, making a track from scratch. Uh, this is just a rough track that we threw together in the past, uh, I think, six episodes. And um, it's by far not some of my best work because I'm working on camera, but I hope it gave you an insight onto some of the things that I do when I'm working in a track. So, um... Let's just uh, give this a listen and see if we can tweak anything um, that really stands out to us uh, in this final episode. So here we go. First thing, I don't like that pulse there. I'm going to go fully subtractive on this, not add anything. First thing I want to do here, I'm going to raise that volume here. I'm going to raise that sub volume. Uh, give that lead a little bit more reverb. A little bit more... Uh, There we go. So I think I'm going to slide this note to here, and, um, and then I'm going to delete that sliding bass. I'm not feeling it. Um, And then we're going to move this up one as well. Here we go. I'm going to give that some volume and uh, a little bit of compression so we can kind of fill in that uh, blank space we have in that mix. Cool. Um, I just adjusted that pluck volume a tad down. Um, I'm going to now compress that uh, saw a second time, but this time we're going to assign it to the side chain so it kind of pumps like we discussed in the other video. Um, you can actually click on the link in the upper that side <laughs> um, and it will uh, explain the drums and compressing your bass. And um, yeah. So we're going to drag that threshold down. So as you notice, we're clipping a bit. I'm just going to lower the volume of everything just a tad. So let's give that um, that sub on the uh, the saw here a little bit less volume. And that plucky sound that goes underneath a lot less volume. And let's combine the two of those. Name that saw and let's color that red to correspond with the other two. And uh, let's grab the, oh, I didn't color that last time. Um, 
let's grab that that side chain and that compressor and let's actually throw it on the the combination bus here just make sure that compressor that side chaining is always behind a another compressor um, if you put this compressor behind that it will side it will compress the side chain which is um, makes the side chain completely useless so um, because if you think about it, the side chain is ducking it on purpose, and a compressor is intentionally removes peaks and valleys. So um, here we are. If we combine those two like this, I'm going to lower that threshold a little bit, and let's play it. Cool, and let me lower that volume right down, and um, sounding pretty good. Let me lower it a little bit more. So um, that's a pretty much it for the uh, actual composition. What I'm going to do for the master bus, uh, I'm going to throw a waves limiter on it. Um, if you don't have waves you can make do with the actually let me just use the Ableton limiter just to um, keep it consistent here. The best uh, limiter I find in software is the waves limiter. Um, they have one of the best ones uh, that I find in, in all mastering suites but um, we can make do with the Ableton one just for the sake of this tutorial and because it's such a rough track I'm not aiming for the highest quality any rate so here we go let's put a limiter on it and let's just listen to it we're gonna find a ceiling here to where it's not really like crushing but it's not like So it's not crushing a lot, but it's actually going into effect. So let's give that a little bit of a gain boost here. Oops. Let's turn that ceiling up. Now what you don't want is you don't want this to flatline. You don't want it to hit the top of the volume and remain there like a whole green bar. You want it to uh, kind of fluctuate a little bit, but you don't want too much where it's like the, the volume, the view meter is moving too much. In this case, I think it's a little bit too high. So let's turn it down and dial it back to around 350. Turn that saw down a little bit. The bass. Give that kick a little bit of boost. Bass a little bit of boost. Saw down a little bit. And again, this is not to be the best mix um, that I've ever done. It's just to give you an idea of what I do when I'm creating a track or what you should think about when you're designing your track. Um, so what I'm doing now is just listening back to everything and um, I'm comparing the volume levels of each. Um, the most important thing you can do when mixing is to um, adjust your, your gain. Your, you know, your, your, your track gain is more important than applying a thousand effects to your tracks and um, any real pro mix engineer will tell you that because when you start applying too many effects you lose the sound quality and um, you sacrifice quality for um, what you think is helping the track but it's not so what you really need to focus on when you're mixing is the actual mix which is the volumes um, a little bit of EQ and a little bit of uh, compression can always help but the main thing you want to focus on is the mix so here we are. 
Turn the drums up a little bit. Let me actually turn on my speakers here. Cool. Bass fits. Subs fitting pretty well. Dial back that bass cut a little bit. And let's uh, throw that saw back in. And let's uh, dial back that reverb just a tad, actually, and put a little bit of high and low cut. Cool, that's sounding pretty good, and let's just listen to the track one more time, and I think we're done with this tutorial. If you want to check out my other music, you can um, click on the annotation in the upper right, <laughs> and uh, right, left, whatever. I get so confused when I'm, I'm looking at myself mirrored. Um, and um, I promise this is not the, the height of my production quality this is just a basic demo to get you guys started producing your own EDM tracks um, so here we go let's just give it a play Cool. Um, if you enjoyed the track, uh, I will put the project file on for free download so you guys can play with it for yourself. I won't be finishing this track. Um, this is just an idea and concept track for you guys. Uh, so if you guys want to finish it, shoot me what you got in YouTube or SoundCloud or whatever on any of my social media. You can check out all those links on juliangraymusic.com. Um, and yeah, I will put this uh, track for free download, I believe, uh, within the next day or so. And um, you guys can download the track and, and have a field day with it and finish it. Um, this is just the the rough version, very, very rough version of uh, track, and I want to see what you guys can do with it. So um, thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, as always, uh, click that like button. Uh, if you disliked it, uh, dislike it, and let me know what you thought of it in the comments below. Um, if you want to see something or if you want to ask me any questions, you hit me up in the comments. Uh, and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this or if you're interested in any sort of media art because I cover it all. So I will talk to you guys next time. Thanks for watching and this is Julian of Julian Gray Media. Goodbye.